Private equity is a hot topic in financial markets, but is not a very common theme in movies and series. But there's one private equity guy that we know. Everyone fucking hates you. Thanks to succession, it's Dewey. For Goldman Sachs, the industry is changing. If Stewie is the new face of private equity, we can find the old face of private equity in Barbarians at the Gate. Henry Kravis from KKR, played by Jonathan Price. And unlike Stewie, he's not fun. But the seismic shift for Goldman is something else. And it matters to us, to you as an investor. Earlier, it was only accessible to large institutions such as pension funds and insurance companies. Now, it's becoming accessible to individual investors. And that's why looking at PE beyond the hype is essential. You may need to be quite rich, but you can now invest via fintech startups or even directly with the private equity giants. Blackstone, Apollo are creating products for rich people. The industry is hungry for new sources of funding. They hope that the funds from private investors will go from around 5 to 8% at the moment to around 20 to 30%. The target is what we can call everyday millionaires, people who have 1 million in investable assets, and that's about 1% of the world population, or 56 million people. If 10% of them invest a million, that's 6 trillion for the industry. And it looks like individuals are really willing to access this high performing asset class because it's all about performance and it looks spectacular. Take a moment to admire this chart of the private equity index compared to the S&P. So it really looks like a match made in heaven. So why should we then look at private equity beyond the hype instead of just embracing the new opportunity? Because what we've seen so far is a story, a story with nice charts and numbers, but we can tell it in a different way. It starts with the managers or general partners. Private equity used to be about financial engineering and leverage, and they typically cut out the jets and reduce the staff first. Now, the GPs tell us they make their companies better adding value. In other words, LPs rely on their skills and resources. Now, we can't expect all GPs to be super skilled or equally skilled. Some firms, in fact, do much better than the rest. We can see there's a great dispersion in returns. But who has these skills? It's tempting to think of the biggest, most well-known firms. But the problem is that there is no consistency of performance. Unlike tennis at Roland Garros, PE is a game where previous winners can become losers season after season. The other part of the story is about private equity as an asset class. Why is it different than the, the public equities that we know? There are smaller capitalizations and they are not listed. But there's nothing that changes about the business itself when the company becomes publicly traded. And that's a big question about PE. This chart compares the S&P 500 with the private equity index from Cambridge Associates. But they're not really apple to apple. The components of the S&P trade every day. The components of the other line trade every decade. This is not a tradable index. It's a calculation based on the internal rate of return, IRR. And some academics criticize its use. I'll put a link in the description if you want to know more about data for illiquid assets and IRR. But let's move on. The next thing is the chart ends in 2021. And we know that the markets have crashed since then. What we also know is that many private equity firms invest in tech and is the sector that has seen the most significant drop. But what really matters is to go back to the basics of private equity smaller leverage stocks. If we create an index of such public stocks, we can see it matches very well. And it matches even better if we apply the same liquidity constraints. What this new chart shows is that private equity looks like equity and the kind of equity it invests in is actually 
high beta. In other words, it moves more. It climbs faster and goes down faster than the broad index. So if you consider investing in this new private equity opportunity, there's a few things to be careful about. The skills, but also the fact that it could be just a high beta asset class. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, all data is not created equal. Do your own research, invest in yourself, and subscribe for more content about the future of investing without the hype.